Hello chat! I'm playing Doki Doki. I've never played this game before. Uh, when I opened it, it said, um, not suitable for those easily disturbed with anxiety or have anxiety and depression. This will be interesting. But I love, I love the music of it. I, I love, I love the music of Doki Doki. <laughs> and I have a Lux here to commentate with me. Lux, say hi. Hello! You, you can't <laughs> Okay, let's, I'm gonna turn the music back up. Oh, 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 okay. Don't turn it full screen, full screen. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I love the music of this game. Yes, beautiful. Whatever the fuck the rest of the lyrics are. <laughs> Get into creative mode on my phone and be like, <laughs> and in your reality, if I don't know how to love you, I'll leave you be. <laughs> oh, it makes sound. Please enter your name. Okay. I should probably send a friend over and be like, Hey! <laughs> Is that gonna be Sayori? Oh my god, can I voice people? Okay, I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw herself. It's definitely Sayori. It is. That girl is Sayori! My neighbor of good friends with little children. It is Sayori! You know, the kind of friendly you never see today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. Why is that so familiar? We used to walk to school on days like this, but following around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting. <laughs> but if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel like I'm running away. Oh, however, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Um, why is she... What's wrong with her eyeballs? She's got like the fucking... Keyboard thing that you use for like arrows. Hey, don't my girl Sayori. I would die for her. I love Sayori. I overslept again. Sure, you did, Sayori. But I caught you this time. What an eye of me. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. <laughs> you said that like you were thinking of food throughout ignoring me. Ignore my way of saying hi. Thing. I'm you forgetting that. Say it right. That's mean, Vince. I'm very mean with my love language. I'm Australian. Yep. Well, if people and stare now. at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Oh, God. I just spilled my drink all over myself. <laughs> oh, God. It's on my mic. I can't. It's on my mic, please. It's worth it, though. It tastes good. Good drink. <laughs> Golden this gay drink. That's my gay drink. <laughs> fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. What is... Oh my god, what is it? My mouth is being weird. Oh, why is Word opening? No! Fuck! Word go! Ah! I'm getting bullied. Ah! <laughs> where is my game gone? Yes, you don't have it. You should be mean even if... Shut the fuck up, Taylor. I can be mean if I want to, you ugly ass hoe. Dude! Shut up about her! <laughs> she said I couldn't be mean. <laughs> Whatever you say, Sayori. Oh. Do, do, do a straight girl laugh. Do a straight girl laugh. <laughs> I can voice Sayori with my ultimate straightness. You tell yourself that. We cross the street together voice. and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly scuffled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Mint, have you decided on a club to join yet? And yeah, I'll join, um, your mother. Your mother's club. <laughs> I told you already, I'm not interested in joining any club. Yeah, why would I want to join a freaking club? I haven't yeah, been stupid. looking either. Oh, she's going to invite us to join the literature club. She's yeah, we can join my club with you. I did I? I never did. I don't think I do. I'm sure it's a possible good idea to one of our many conversations by just submissively go along with whatever she's going on about. 
Bro, this is me with my mother. <laughs> <laughs> me and my mother have these kinds of conversations. Say so Ori likes to worry a little bit too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on game and anime. Wrong! It's Minecraft and fanfiction. <laughs> I was talking about how worried that you won't. What? I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize. I have your skills for college. I know how to socialize. I talk for myself. Your happiness is really important to me. Is it though? It is. She's so lovely. She is, but like, she's staring into my soul. I know you're happy now, but I'd die of the thought you being a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. She's, she, she's being very <laughs> passive aggressive right now. I don't know how to feel about this. You trust me, right? No. Don't make me keep worrying about you. I'll keep making you worry about me, bitch. Alright, alright. I'll look for a few clubs that makes you happy. No promises, so. though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? No. Oh, okay. Apparently, alright, alright. Yeah, I guess I promise. <laughs> Yay! With the little flirty line thingy. Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? I don't know. Why do you? Why, why do you in game me? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. What does that mean? What? Relent. Yeah, wait, hang on. My thing's being weird. What the fuck? I accidentally went on to my fucking uh, content thing. My most popular clip is um, killing with some. Is that the clip that you accidentally went on where I was like burning shit? Yes! Oh, did I like set myself a virus? Okay, well, that's not what I was wanting. Okay. What I point out only just turned my mic on. I forgot I didn't turn it on. Because why not? I'm gonna close these up. Uh, how do I turn this? Oh my god, we get to see Natsuki soon. I'm so excited. Oh, I love Natsuki. Natsuki is the best. She's my favorite, and I, I love her. My whole voicing for her is beautiful. <laughs> um, why do I have Google Chat open? I haven't used that in ages. Uh... Why is my old browser up? My god. I can hear myself through your mic. Okay. I guess being her worry so much about me wants to ease. Lux, I can hear myself through your mic. What ha What the fuck? Wait, what? I can hear myself through your mic. Hold on, let me fix it real quick. Okay. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside her head. You're not wrong about that. The school day is as ordinary as ever. The window is just a white void. It's, and it's over- A white void? <laughs> After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Hello there. How are you doing today? Clubs. <laughs> Just clubs. So Yori wants me to check out some clubs. Yeah, we know. Guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hey! You of course I remember you, dumbass. Why would I not remember you? Don't, don't mind me calling my chat a dumbass. I do it all the time. I don't mind. I'm gonna mind it. Oh god. Okay, but like I love my chat and one of my many love languages is insulting them, <laughs> so Oh, I'm fully aware of that. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. For one, the name I call you is Uncle Jay, and two, your name is literally next to your message. <laughs> Hello! Say Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. That's something I do a lot, honestly. <laughs> Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. Why do you keep 
been salting me, Theo? That's my thing. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know, you know what? Well, you can come to my club. <gasps> the literature club! There's no way I'm going to your club. Oh. Yes, the fuck Learn you are. Japanese. I'm not gonna learn Japanese. I'm already learning like five other languages, that being Portuguese, Spanish, Russian. What else am I learning? French? And the fucking and language from Star Wars again? as well. The fucking Klingon language from Star Wars for some reason. Oh, please do not. Yeah. No. Sayori is the vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware she had any interest in literature. The fact that I'm 99% sure she only did it because it would be fun to help start a new club since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club. She inherited the title of Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is, gu is guaranteed to be even less. This game has stuck. I know, I have never played this before. I have, I've read like about the game though, so. Yeah, so there's like the leading yeah. characters and shit, but I'm too lazy to figure out how to do yeah, don't worry. I'll, I will help them out during the game. I'm a genius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Lux is amazing. What I'm here for. <sighs> Hello, Karin! Why am I playing this? Um, because I love this game. It's Goose! <laughs> well, I love finished Goose. my gay drink. Time to go be depressed because I finished my gay drink. Yeah. I guess I'm not going to have a- well, I was already depressed. <laughs> Did, what did you just say? I'm kidding. It was a joke. It was a joke. This what game I is realistic. Was... Yeah, see, that's the thing. I knew it was realistic, but I don't know how realistic. Oh, you'll find out. Trust me. I. Okay, what do you get? It's it's censoring stuff, and I can't see it through my uh thing. So. Just move. Oh up. my god! Why is AF fucking censored, but literally fuck isn't censored? Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring a new member. God damn it, Sayori. There's gonna be cupcakes. <gasps> and Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Yes, yeah, say it's Natsuki. Natsuki cupcakes. I freaking love Natsuki, bro. Wait, this reminds me of fucking Just Monica. The song Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica, just, just Monica. I immediately thought of Sayori's fucking solo of um, maybe we're friends, maybe we're more and shit. Oh, yeah. Don't make yes, promises exactly. you can't keep, Sayori. Can't Fine, tell if Sayori we'll... is really that much of an airhead or if she's. Oh, who just started playing a game? Um, or if she's so cunning as to she planned it all out. I let out a long so. sigh. I suppose to sigh. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Your mic, I heard everything. <laughs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Honestly, I would do that if it was a mint flavored cupcake. That's why my name is Mint Mochi. I love anything mint flavored. I would stop by just for the women. Okay, but like hot women, be like, why is her back like that? Because she's arching it for us, okay? Why? Does she want to show off her tits? Yes! That's what she's trying to do, okay? Leave her alone! Oh, to be fair, she does have a crush on, um... A te a, does she already have a crush on us? Like, the childhood best friend? Yeah. Thing? She already has a crush on us. Yes. Yeah, I don't remember much of this game from what I've read. I remember everything. Oh, God. It's my favorite. Okay. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Oh, God! Precisely. Wait, it's- why did I say okie dokie? <laughs> is it a full RP? <laughs> yes. <laughs> if, wait, is it guys. copyrighted? If it's not, I- if it's not copyrighted, I will do karaoke to that song at the end of the stream. I think it is copyrighted. Fuck. I'll check, just for you. Okay. I dejectedly followed Sayori across the school and upstairs. A section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classroom activities. Sayori, full of like, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. Oh my god, the music. Sayori down, but yes. 
I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh! I got in front of the room. Girl one! Not even, not even Yuri, just girl one. Welcome to the Lizzy Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously, you brought a boy. Ah, uh, damn, Natsuki. Way to kill the atmosphere. I'm not even a man. I'm not a man. Well, in this you are. Monica apparently knows who we are. That's scary. I'm meant for the nice surprise. Club? Welcome to the club. Oh, they're all staring into my soul. They're all staring. Oh, I hate this. Sayori is down bad. <laughs> all words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry. Well. Natsuki. <laughs> just a... <laughs> They're all blushing, but their blush isn't red. It's fucking brown. They look like they have bruises. Maybe they do, okay? Maybe that is. We all don't trust Monica. Yeah. The girl all with right the well. sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. Oh. A small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Wow. Yeah, we're judging. Wow. She's also the one who made the cupcakes, according to Sayori. Why have you tried to send the link in chat? You can just ignore her when she gets booty. <laughs> Fucking savage, bro! Savage! Sayori so says that quietly into my ear and then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Date Yuki for- Who's Yuki? Last time I checked it's Yuri, Natsuki, Sayori, and Monica. Who the fuck is Yuki? Hey, Yuri, calm down. Ah, well, yeah, who are you? What? Just purple. Just purple. Purple? Just purple. <laughs> Just purple. Feel... purple. Yeah, purple. Okay, are you wanting to go with Yuri first for the palms? Um... Well, Yuri's one of my favorites. I like- I really like Yuri, so yeah, I'm probably- yeah. Just Cause hair. I know the words for you. Just hair. Yeah, I know who you mean. And it sounds like you already know Monica. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. She's stare they all stare into my soul and I don't like it. It's great to see you again, Mint. What the no, fuck? No. She's in our lessons. Look at how one's body is not supposed to go like this. She's trying to flash her tits, leave her alone. What's going on with the skirt physics over here? They're not real, okay? If my skirt could do that when I arch my back, I have hose. <laughs> Monica smiles sweetly. That is not sweetly. That is psychopathic smile, Jesus. That's like, I'm gonna eat your children. Yes, that is not a sweet smile. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica is probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. She does not look athletic. She looks anorexic. That was a really bad joke. I'm never making a joke like that again. I'm gonna get cancelled on Twitter. That was a joke, chat. Don't get mad at me. I hope you don't get clipped. If that gets clipped, my streaming career is over before it even starts. Yeah, that was a joke, guys. It was a joke. Don't get mad at me, please. <laughs> don't cancel me on Twitter. She does look demonic. Yeah, she does not look athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. Okay, yeah, um, that's probably a good thing. No! 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 Don't clip that! No! Why? So, having a smile at me genuinely feels a little. You too, Monica. Do we have. No, I refuse. We do not have a crush on Monica. I refuse. No, we, we don't have a crush on Monica. We're just not good with women. Oh. We just come, <laughs> come sit down, Mint. We made room for you at the table so you can sit down next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Shut up, Natsuki. Sorry, I got a little too excited. And how about I make some tea, though? <gasps> I love tea. The girls All have right. a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. 
Ah, oh, shit, I've been cancelled. <laughs> God damn it. I'm gonna get cancelled on, on Twitter, and on, and on Twitch, and on you- and I'm cancelled on everything, apparently. Well, shit. You have to cancel, it's over. Yeah. Well, I'm- <laughs> May as well have fun now. Welcome to 2022! I've already <laughs> been cancelled, I don't need to worry about getting cancelled in the future. Woo! Uh, Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room when Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. It's really weird saying Yuri because my dad's dog's name is Yuri. Spelled this exact way too. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Yes! Yes! Natsuki proudly... Pr proudly? Proudly match... <sighs> Sayori pro oh my god I can't speak Sayori proudly marches back to the table tray in hand finally I okay no we haven't talked in like three months dude <laughs> uh tada just tada okay what? <laughs> my smile, I hate it. Monica looks concerned. Sayori looks terrified. Natsuki looks the happiest ever. Yeah, Mushroom, you are indeed the wife. I have 15 wives, 13 poles, someone who didn't get a choice, and I married, I married them against uh, his consent before it started going by uh, he, he, they. Or is it she, they? I don't remember. I think it's she, they now. I don't know. I keep changing their pronouns, I'm the, like, I can't keep up. I'm and the then favorite. I've also got Ruby. I'm still the favorite. Yeah, you're the favorite. You're always the favorite. You were, you were the favorite. Like, always. Is it Monica? Good. Oh, it's raining. Love that. Natsuki Thank lifts you. the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like cats! <gasps> the whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate we use to make ears! <gasps> That's why Sid reached me. What do you mean? I'm make okay. I'm gonna make these cupcakes if I ever do a cooking stream. If I do like a cooking stream, I'm gonna do that. So cute. Yes. I want to see them. I had no idea you're so so good at baking, Natsuki. Well, you know, just hurry and take one. Oh my god. Oh. Ooh. Maybe this is something better discussed in DMs, you know? Yeah, maybe not in, yeah. yeah, maybe not in Twitch chat. Yeah. Let's get back to DDLC! <laughs> Woo! Sayori grabs one first, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious. I want to see the cupcakes! Well, Sayori talks yeah. with her mouth full and already has managed to get icing on her face. God damn yes. it, Natsuki! Yes, love. Yeah, um, with this, uh, thing, just DM me somewhere. DDLC love! DDLC love! Uh, and don't worry about apologies, it's all good, just, um, talk about it in DMs, uh, like, afterwards. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. That, okay. No, so he's being quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is... It's sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. Wait, how else? Where else would you get icing from? What? The store, you can buy pre made icing. You can buy pre made icing? What? <laughs> oh, I didn't know this. Yes, it's really good. When I was. Oh, thanks for your Discord. I think it's that one. People love me. Clearly. Man's on my Discord server, by the way, though. Ow, my ears hurt. This is a fucking like one. Oh, I've lost the sound. Oh, I have lost sound. Wait. Oh wait, I've lost sound. It's coming through oh it's coming through my desktop instead of through my thing. Okay, there we go. Ah. Uh, Oh my god, I just realized how big chat is, and then it's on the bottom and not the top. It 
be on the top with a game like this. Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? What? Made them for you or anything? I'm, I thought you technically did. Sayori said, well, maybe. <laughs> oh my god. We're just flustering this poor girl. But not for you, you know, Tommy. <laughs> you fucking tsundere. Oh my god. Ah! Come back! My game! No! I give up on that because weird logic and just messed the, <laughs> the conversation. I'm so proud of the channel. Oh, thank you! Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. I fuck it, I want tea now. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. We keep a whole tea set in this classroom. Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Yes, bro. Tea and reading. Except for me, I don't read physical books. I read fanfiction. <laughs> I don't have much of a life. Don't let yourself get intimidated. You're just trying to impress you. They're staring into my soul again. Lux, they're staring into my soul. Oh, that's <laughs> Play Poppy Playtime yet? No. I have not. I'm terrified of the game. <laughs> Don't worry, next stream will make it happen. Just you. What? Look! No! <laughs> <laughs> what have you done? No! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you just got called a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll fucking admit it. I'll play psychological horror, but I won't. I, I get terrified of like jump scare horror. Insulted Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy. Reading and pastime is a pastime for me. It is a pastime for me. Well, in this it's not, okay? Oh, you're the online, you're the online girl. Yeah, I think I think he's on the list of my parents. I've like 55. <laughs> my mum does stepmom and their wife. Yeah, yeah. And their child. Weird family. Hey, at least it's not as bad as Ruby. Ruby's like every single family member. Yeah, that's really concerning. Including the gender role she doesn't even identify with. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and then smiles at me. So what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, so you already seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. Oh, This is terrifying. <laughs> well, we'll make sure you feel safe... Wait, what? I compl I clicked too fast. As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. No, it's your job to murder everyone, Monica. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. <clears throat> Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major. It was like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Stop staring into my soul! She wants to, so she will. Again. Ah! Oh, okay. Wait. The music is really loud. Wait. Monica is <clears throat> a really... <laughs> Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people here are interested in putting 
out all the effort to start with something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it. Oh, they're all so optimistic. I love it. I love it. They're so optimistic. And fucking Monica's staring into my soul again. Let Monica be! No! Not bad yet. But Yatsuki's yeah, also staring into my soul. Everyone is, except Yuri and Sayori. That's why they're the same. And that's why they both die. Uh, I'm really not looking forward to Yuri dying, honestly. How are you? Uh, I'm doing alright. How are you? I haven't streamed in like a month. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So Mint, what kind of things do you like to read? Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. That's not fucking true. I read so much. Yeah, you know, and then fanfics is what I do. <laughs> okay, okay. Before before I read fanfics, I would read, like, fucking every day. It was fun. <clears throat> manga? <laughs> fucking manga! I tried reading manga once. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. She's not even holding a teacup. My favourites are usually novels that feel deep and complex fantasy worlds. <gasps> I love that kind of book. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equal equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her about her reading. Jesus Christ. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. <laughs> yes, I'm lying, <laughs> But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your, your own lack of imagination and completely throw you into a loop? Yes. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. I, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped some, uh, something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this, this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Bro, that's like most people having a conversation to me in real life. I always feel like I'm talking to a rock, guys. I'm, oh my god. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world- Oh, I didn't finish reading it, just mind. So real horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world. If only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Damn, Natsuki! Oh my god, Monica. <coughs> oh, why is that? Well, I just- Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? Starts talking to Mint. Mint with a random emoji gone. <laughs> <coughs> what? Really what gives off. you to say that? Ugh, ah. You left a piece of scrap paper behind at the last club meeting. It looks like you were working on a poem called Don't Say That Loud! And give that back. Fine, fine. Ee hee, hee 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 hee. Weird giggle noises. Your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Damn, Sayori is flirting. I have such a strong flirt game today. Sayori s sidles. I think it's supposed to be slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I am not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Mint error does not comprehend conversation. Precisely. Ah, I'm having a stroke, guys. 
Why do you care? I think it's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Oh, not very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. God damn. Ew. I'll slash I'm 14 to this is deep. <laughs> Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel more comfortable enough. Feel comfortable enough to share hers. Yeah, <laughs> dot dot dot. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay! I have an idea, everyone. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um, dot, dot, dot. Yeah, let's do it! I love how optimistic she is. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think we'll help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and th strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Mint? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Wait, Mint's poem. Some shit about Australia. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> if there's an option for fairy. I lost sound and my mic. Yeah. <laughs> I need water. My throat is in pain. Oh, I have a water bottle here. Is it full though? No. <laughs> Where the fuck is my water bottle? Oh, it's on the ground. And it's not full. It's fine. It has a little bit of water. <clears throat> okay. I never said I would join this club. Oh, they already may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. <laughs> Mint, I don't want to join. Others, welcome! I still have other clubs to look at, and, um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare at me with dejected eyes. They look so sad! Look at Yuri! Even Monica looks hurt! <laughs> Even Natsuki does! Look at... <laughs> but, I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm. <laughs> Mint, you all... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? Fucking simp, bitch. Sounds a bit like you. Okay, but I would, I would do it. I wouldn't do it because it, that it's hot girls. I would do it because of my social anxiety and the fact that I can't say no. <laughs> oh, because we I don't care this. about the club. You've been forced. To, it's the game, bitch. <laughs> if we could say no, we would. What the fuck is that sound? Oh, it's raining. Okay. That is, if writing poems is the best price that- Oh, wait, no. That is, if writing poems is the price you need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Yeah, but it's just like me. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. Oh! One by one, the girls' eyes lit up. Light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Sayori wraps her arm around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really came just for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Me too, man. Yeah, same, bro. If I made cupcakes and someone came and they didn't they didn't join and they and but they ate a cupcake, I'd be like, Oi, no, you ate the cupcake, you stay in. I meant to have to tell you something about your cupcakes, because I'm only with you for your cupcakes. I've never made cupcakes. But I really shouldn't be here. I thought I got cupcakes for this. Actually, wait, I have- I've made cupcakes, like, once. They were, like, honey-flavored cupcakes, and I threw it at my best- like, well, not my best friend. One of my friends. <laughs> hell, I need to eat the literature. Ah, yes, lid-itcher. Not literature. Totally. 
Then that makes it official. Women's is just shoving her tits into Yuri. And Natsuki is getting her ass and her hair. I mean, I, I would love to be Natsuki right now. Then say fairy bread is cupcake. <laughs> Bitch. Fairy bread is not cupcake. Yeah, but I love fairy bread. I know. I love it so much. Welcome to the literature club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Mint, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Eehee! <laughs> Don't do it! Don't care. Pronounced. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying that to. Ah, I'm saying it like that to annoy people. Maybe fairy bread is sprinkles on plain bread. No, it's not. Fairy bread is wonder white bread that you've buttered and then you put hundreds and thousands on it. That is fairy bread. Yes, I agree. I made fairy bread once with um. Once. Like, uh, like the wrong kind of sprinkles. Ugh. And it was so bad because it was the wrong sprinkles. It had a weird texture and the, and the sprinkles weren't sweet. It just tasted dusty. Uh, it's sprinkles on bread. No! Shut up, man. It's not just sprinkles on bread. It is not just sprinkles on bread. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. <gasps> Same. I get so anxious so I can do things. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Mint, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, so Yuri and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Aww. American. Yes, you are. You are a stupid American. Sure, yeah, might as well. Yay! <laughs> you have an American in your chat? Lux, most of my chat is American. Oh. Leave my chat alone! Only I get to insult my chat. I just love thou all of yeah. I can hey. They know they're dumb. It's fine. Hey, at least yeah. At least he knows he's dumb. Like if you're like, I'll, I'll accept it. Okay, I'll I'll pretend you're straight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, I, I just pretend my chance. Was my stream? Respect. <laughs> 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 yeah, I love you too, father number like. What is it? Thirty, I think. I think it's number 30. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's either 30 or 56. Because I don't know if he's on the list or not. With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. Can you join the call? Oh, here we go. It's going to be interesting. Alright, one second. Uh, wait, I have DMs. From who? <laughs> Yes, yes, I am playing Doki Doki Karen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> in that, I'll agree. My game just crashed. Oh, never mind. No, it's back. It didn't crash. I thought it crashed. Okay, um. Oh, wait. We're in, like. Oh, it's a DM call. I can add someone to it. Oh, I figured it out. You're a goodie. Eh. <laughs> Not It's Mero. Who the fuck is It's Mero? Hey! Wait for him to accept. Hello! Hello there. Oh god, he's turning his camera on. No, I didn't mean oh, to be on. Jesus! <laughs> oh, why is oh, your- Ah, why is your volume at 200%? Face. Yay! I'm back in another Twitch- Twitch Oh, thing. my ears! Oh, your volume was at 200%. Oh, that sucked for you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. I bet Twitch- I bet Twitch loved that. <laughs> I'm sorry for that, Twitch chat. By the way, Mint, I've been streaming oh. on Twitch. Oh, really? Cool. I'll give you a follow, yeah. if I haven't already. The whole way my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. 
Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, <clears throat> and of course Monica. Why are they all oh suddenly god. here? Oh my god, I swear to god, if you do not date Yuki first, I'm gonna be pissed. Yuri! Yuri, whatever, I don't care enough to even remember their name. <laughs> Bro, obviously I'm going to date Yuri first. It's freaking okay. Yuri. I know your word choices, though. Well, what do you mean you know my word choices? Like the poems? The poem. Also, hi, Mushroom. Hello. Perhaps I'll even... Ah, perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Oh, we're, yeah. We've met them once, and we're already thinking about dating all, one exactly. of them. Exactly, that's how I think about women. Yeah. Like, that's how every dating video game is. You yeah. meet the cast of characters, and instantly it's like, who am I going in bed with? The first that's question Locks asked about me before they met me was, are they gay? <laughs> and then the oh, second no. was, the second one was, are they single? Oh my god, don't call me out on the stream! If this is <laughs> <I'm> gonna cry! <laughs> uh, so it's the gets man, gay panic. Man, man, after this stream, we I got a lot of questions for you. Oh god, alright. <laughs> alright, let's keep, keep playing the game. I just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm but, sure good fortune okay, will find me. Keep it asking. And I guess that starts with writing writing a poem tonight. Yes, it does. Okay. This is where you need it's my help. It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite no, club member will like. No, this is where like. they need my help because I'll give them the worst decisions. Okay. No, I know the Yuri decisions meant listen to dark. me. Dark. Dark. I'm gonna say. Dark. No, anime is no, anime is you, definitely not If you want to date Yuri, choose dark. Fun it's is amb fun is Sayori. It's ambient. It's ambient for Yuri. It's ambient. <laughs> okay. Um. Hard. Yes. Uh. Yuri Give would them like. All the choices for them Yuri to would like Yuri. agonize. Them. Yuri's is captive. Captive isn't an option. It's horror. I'm really good at this melancholy. <laughs> um. Hair, really? Depression? That's gonna be um Yuri. Sayori, right? Yeah. Hmm. Say death. Oh, it was Sayori. Fuck. Let's go. Um. That's definitely Natsuki. Yeah. Um. All the cutesy stuff is definitely uh. Yeah. The pink-haired one. I don't remember. <laughs> Which pink hair one? Bright pink or dull pink? Bright, bright, bright. Oh yeah, that's not spooky. I'm gonna say fry. Oh fuck, it was Sayori. Um, yeah. Alone. Dude, I know Alone. this. I know this one YouTube channel that is all about Nasuki. I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> um, passion. Like the man fuck. hella freaking simps for Nasuki. Rat. Doki Doki, that's definitely Natsuki. No. Um. No. Literally, think before clicking. Okay. I am. I am. I yeah, am. like literally before you click, like ask us and then Tragedy. we'll freaking give is, our okay. opinion. No. Okay, what about fear? Oh my god, obviously you're not smart, you need to no, ask. No, I'm not. Or, what like, about fear? <laughs> you need to ask what about fear? for your call. What about fear? Help. Uh... Oh my god. I feel like that would be Sayori, because Sayori has fear no, of like what fear. to say. All of these are cutesy, they're all Natsuki. You need to click, hold up. I think Whisper. Whisper, Whisper. Whisper. No, it was Natsuki. Yuri. No, it was fucking about, Natsuki. How about Frig is Whisper Natsuki? It is. That's oh my god, god. Shut, shut up. Shut right. the hell up. Okay. What about grief? Would that be Yuri? No, no, F. Choose the F word at the top. F word at the top. Festa? F word at the top. Hey. Kawhi Max. Wait, that's a book thing. Oh, that was two of them. Yes. Yeah, it's a book yeah. thing, so it would be Yuri. 
Kawaii is just cute Yuri in Japanese. Her word. So extraordinary. Okay. Fuck you. Come. No. Why was? Okay, that. Uh, why is this one here? That's obviously. That's obviously Sayori. Yeah. That. This one's Yuri. No. That. That would have. What? How was that not Yuri? What did you click? Skulls. That's Sorry. not. No. No. That won't be Yuri until later on. Oh, okay. Yeah, because Yuri doesn't think in that mindset. Yuri just thinks about books right now. Okay. That's Daydream. Because Yuri, cause Yuri right now, when she's in the literature club, when she's not, like, giving Depresso, out her Depresso. feelings to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's she's Daydream. Not, like, giving your feelings to you and shit, she just talks about books. What about Daydream? I don't think so. Um, that would be Sayori. Um, it would be... Childhood I know is, um, Natsuki. What about Anything Unrequited? About Unrequited, what about that? Anything about a book. None of this is about a book. Oh, fuck, it was Sayori, okay. That happens to be okay, what well, happens most of the time like, at the beginning. Because okay. most of the time at, like, the first poem thing, they want you to go with Sayori. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> this might be a... Sayori, Let me read Because of Sayori it. being your close friend, that's the reason why they have you do her. Okay. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Lynn. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. So you already told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. So, I find I find it absolutely funny that as soon as you finish the sentence, the sentence pops up in your stream. What do you mean? Because we're like delayed. Yeah, stream is always delayed by like a few seconds. Oh yeah, Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature. <laughs> Swiftly defeated, Natsuki pops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Min always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Dude, really? Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, it's aren't you? It's also because Sayori. I might but, be a little sorry, jealous. Sorry, I, I thought I said that to myself. <laughs> oh my god. I might be a little jealous. <laughs> How come? You and Min can become good friends too. Um, Sayori, hmm? As usual, as usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, Sayori. <laughs> oh, you even brought you something today, you know? Wait, Sayori! Uh, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Ah, uh, what do I do? I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that really so? Really quick, Mushroom, I'm gonna message you real quick because I'm just now realizing with this game. Okay. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Aww. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some uh, some scheduled activities for the club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So Yuri and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. 
I'm always in the closet. <laughs> Come out of the closet. I will just be. Yay! Man, it looks like no one wants to be bothered with today. I thumbed down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related my myself like this? I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me. But I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. Oh god. We're probably going to seem really lame. Oh, I didn't read the whole thing. Uh, compared to the other clubs. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is, the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know? We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Mmm! That, does, that doesn't solve the problem, though. Eh, what do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the first thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? They already is taking this really se seriously. It's rare to see her deliberating like this. And that's a good point. In this case, do you think food will do the trick? What kind? Well, I guess we could... Cupcake! Why do they immediately go to cupcakes? Because cupcakes are supreme. Fair enough. Good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. You're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it? Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. Cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. Find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sayori can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. What the fuck? Why is she so close? What? We fell asleep. Hey, Sayori. I you love how you're reading and me and Mushroom are listening, but we're also reading each other's text messages. <laughs> I'm scared of what you guys are talking about. Anyway, I'm gonna go get a drink. Uh, entertain my chat. Oh, I would love to. Oh, God. Ah! 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 No, seriously, though? Seriously, though? Okay, okay, okay. So, I don't know if you know this, but Doki Doki Literature Club is bringing out a second game, and I really want to see Mint play it. Like, out of everyone I've seen playing games, I want to see Mint. Play it. Oh yeah, I'm so excited for the second game to come. Dude, I am stupidly excited for the second game. I have no idea when it comes out, but the moment it comes on out, I'm screaming at Mint to download it. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> like, I've been wa dude, I tried making them play Poppy Poppy uh Poppy Playtime chapter one, and they stopped playing it the moment Huggy Wuggy disappeared. The moment he disappeared. I'll get them to play it. Game yeah, they were just like, "All right, I'm good," and left. <laughs> like they, like they stopped stream, left call, everything. I was like, yeah. "Oh come on!" I'll use my wifing abilities. Yes, thank you, thank you. Sid wouldn't do that, dude. Okay, I don't know if Discord can hear this or whatever. Can they? Uh, yeah. Whatever we say is played through the stream. Ah, oh, god damn it. Alright, well, I'll forget, I'll leave it for private chat later. Okay. All you need to know is... What? I know nothing about what happened to, between the two of them, but I want to know what happened. Yeah, I just asked Mint after stream. Yay. Unless you know it and you want to text it, because I'm sure Mint wouldn't mind sharing, because, you know, I'm kind of their arm. I have no idea. I only met Mint this year. Oh, cool. Mint's a really nice person. If you have any questions about them, you can message them to me and I'll answer them happily. Me and Mint actually played a little bit of Minecraft together. Yeah, that's but nice. I ran yeah, yeah, but I ran out of money, so I wasn't able to keep my server online. Uh. 
Otherwise, my server would be online and Mint would probably be on it right now. <laughs> it was a, uh, a, um, boat survival. So, like, we were on a boat and we tried to survive on it. We actually went pretty damn the far. Fuck? Hello? I just hey, got Mint. back. Yeah? Do you remember the boat survival server on Minecraft? What? The survival server on Minecraft when we were on the boat and we had to like go in the water and collect stuff. I am I have no idea what you're on about. You don't? I know you know what I'm on about because you joined in a few times. Or was that? Sick. I don't think I've ever played Minecraft with you. That might have been someone else. My bad. Probably was. We should play Minecraft together, though. We should. I check my DMs to read. I am aware that I need to check my DMs, Corrin. I'm, I'm streaming, okay? Fuck off. <laughs> Yes, definitely Yuri Supremacy. Yes. Also, is that, um, is Goose, um... Karin? Yeah. Oh, okay. That could be a plan to do, where we all play Minecraft together. That actually could be really fun. Yeah. Oh my god, everyone's DMing me. Jeez. Though I have to get Minecraft on my Switch, because I don't really want to play it on my phone. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, playing on my phone is too much trouble, okay? Yes, <laughs> of course a survival word. A sur survival word. I'm trying to respond to 5 million DMs so I can keep playing the game. Okay, no more DMs? No more DMs. Can I play the game? I have chat messages. If you'll stop playing Minecraft at any point, then I would like to introduce you all to a friend. And also would like to play, would also like, and also would like to play my friend Twitter as well. I had a stroke reading that. I will play a dog real quick. Okay, bye lot. Bye. My stream rate is dropping. What the hell? Oh, it was like 30 minutes ago. I'm trying to remember if Goose has my Discord. Goose, do know. you have my Discord? I'm Joker. Okay, uh, back to the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get back to the game, loser. Shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry, not sorry. I open my eyes to find Sayori's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. Sorry, wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. Does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in the club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know. You'll need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulders to see Monica Ogahad. It's true though. Yeah, I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. It's what I do best. That's a problem. <laughs> what about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? It, <laughs> not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... It's a secret. I knew it. Come on. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sayori, it's written all over you. It, Sayori glances around herself. How is it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. Uh, I ran my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. And there's toothpaste stain on your collar right there. I tried to wipe up the stain with my finger. But nobody would ever notice that. Of course I would. Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I don't really care about that. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you meanie. 
Why is that you in real life, though? How would you know? Uh, because we've talked before and I've said stuff like that and you had no problem pointing out my flaws. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> and you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? <laughs> oh my god. That's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you change your mind. Titties. Oh, she'll change something for- Whoa, that thing <laughs> really good. What is- Well, <laughs> I was just talking about how weird it is to have a friend who does these kind of things. Hey, don't say that. You make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? Eh, uh, it did when I bought it. Ugh. If you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it didn't, doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Don't say that out loud. <laughs> anyway, you look so much better now, so it, why does it feel so strange to see Sayori's blazer buttoned up like that? Oh my god, I'm streaming! Don't come in! Okay. Jesus Christ. I was about to pause my stream for a second there, but he's just like, nope. <laughs> but it's so stuffy. Ooh. It's not worth it at all. Sayori hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Why do we. S why is this angle? Phew. That's so much better. <laughs> Sayori puts her arms out and twirls around. So, if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because, if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. And you take care of him better than Sayori wants anyway. that D! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you can't deny it! You knew right from the start of the game that Sayori wants that <laughs> Sayori was like, hey girl, how you doing? <laughs> so that's why I'm keeping unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Hey, I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anything, just focus, oh, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I don't know if that's supposed to be a nervous giggle or not. It's raining really hard outside. I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayori. Oh, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Hey, Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share share the poems we wrote now? Yay! Mint, ca I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I fail to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to receive her, retrieve her poem. By the way, do you remember? Did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. <clears throat> I do the same, myself. <clears throat> Who do I share my <laughs> Who should I share my poem to first? Um... Yuri! Hmm. If you don't, I'm gonna hold you captive. <laughs> I'm waiting for the stream delay. <laughs> oh wait, I didn't even. <laughs> We're just waiting on the um, on the on the stream delay. <laughs> oh, I'm caught up. I'm just waiting for you to choose Yuri. Oh. <laughs> um, I don't know. Best friend or hot woman? Hot woman. Yuri seems most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion to be fair. 
<clears throat> Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um, oh, sorry, I forgot to start speaking. <laughs> it's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not, I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay, this is your first time writing a poem, right? Yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. What? It's because your poem's trash. Shut up. Oh, so it's that <laughs> bad. Hey, no. I get, and I gotta get going, so uh, have a good night. I hope you have a really good stream and all that. Love you, Mint, and have a good one. Bye. Let's see if uh, Lux can join back. If not, I will cry. <laughs> How dare you call me a loser. Good night, though. Did I just raise my voice? I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. Did everyone just leave? Yeah, they left me alone. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most notable noticeable thing I recognize is new writers in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as though her demeanor totally totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an ex like an expert. Oh my god. Of course that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing, even just a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning, by example, and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a bit biased, though. <laughs> biased how? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry, it's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as, that's, uh, as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature poem? Oh, it's in cursive. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing out of the present but living in the past. The light flickers, I flicker back. I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. It, that's a relief. Also, I liked the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Mint. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all, but remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences into their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbo symbolically compared to a ghost. Okay. Well, hang on. My Streamlabs is giving me a notification from an hour ago. <laughs> giving me dropped frame rate notification from a freaking hour ago. I'm gonna. Oh, that's loud. 
plays well. <laughs> okay, well. Ah. Come on, Lux. Oh, fuck, fuck's sake. Why? Why, Lux? Why? Were you calling? I was calling Lux, see if they could come back, but, um, I didn't get a response, so. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be lost with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Wow. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Bro, I've been writing for literal years and I haven't picked up on this shit. What the fuck are you about? Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Who should I show my poem to next? What do you think, chat? Because I don't know. I like Nan Suzuki, but I just like Say. We don't have to go Say Ari. Oh my goodness, this is so good, Mint. Hey, I love it. I had no idea you were such a good writer. Say Ari, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, if that were me, I would not. I wouldn't know what I'm what I'm doing either. Well, maybe that's why, because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Yuri's opinion was may way more constructive than this. Maybe even Natsuki's. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? It. Well, I'm sure that that's a part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of people, you know. So when I read your poem. It's not just a poem. I just realized I don't think I ever unmuted my thing. Wait. We don't talk about that. It's not just a poem. It's a mint poem. And that makes it feel extra special. Really? Really? Like I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. Hey, leave my poor poem alone. It's so weird, Sayori. I'm really happy just that you wrote one. <laughs> it just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact I'm standing in front of you in the club room. <laughs> uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See, it's like I said before, Mint. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know. Trying new things like this for other people? That's something that only really good people do. Really, though? I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. <clears throat> then again... I can't deny that she's a part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure I have lots of fun here, okay? That'll be my way of thanking you all. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that, then. Yay! Now, you read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. We'll see about that. <gasps> the music changed! Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you miss me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not bad, I want breakfast. <laughs> hey, Ori. This is just a guess, but... Do you wait until this morning to write this? Ah. Uh, no. Just, just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit with yes or no questions. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. It, yeah, I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. Ow. Hit myself in the face by accident. It came out nice. Or, how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school? It's bad to skip breakfast, bro. Why? Breakfast sucks. Breakfast makes me sick. I don't eat breakfast. I get all cranky. <laughs> well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. This was so much fun. 
Mona says the best. Uh, yeah. But next time I won't forget. I'm gonna write the best poem ever. <laughs> well, I guess I'll look forward to it. There's so much reading in this. My god. Oh, I can't skip. Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. Oh, god damn. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It, it just didn't evoke any emotion. So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste. Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. So. Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap, horses can race. Owls can sleek, cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in the high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't that the point for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the, the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling the last time. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realised. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Uh. Right then. Yeah, guess not. I decided to humour her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Can you pull Natsuki away? Can I skip? <gasps> oh, it just it doesn't do anything. Okay, so because I have a choice. Hi, Mint. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. Oh, shit. My phone. It dropped it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Shut up, Miss, uh, Miss Monica. Fuck you. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. Hey, I'm so much better off going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Don't worry, Mint. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised. We both had these those sorts of things <coughs> in common. Ah, uh, well, we may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Well, that may be the case, but <coughs> but maybe there are some uh, similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you. Sounds like you two really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm. You sure you're not reading into into it a little too much? Yeah, <laughs> I could be. Oh gosh, it's like Yuri. But in any case, Sayori's writing has a kind of gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions, like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you trying new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased uh, toward their own kinds of styles. But I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. 
It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? <clears throat> don't worry, not very good. You seem, you sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. <clears throat> ah. Colin Wolf. It couldn't have been me. See the... See the direction the spackle... Spackle? Spackle? I don't know. Portrudes. A noisy neighbour and angry boyfriend. I'll never know I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel. Blind like a film was out in the sun, but it's too late. My retinas already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep, stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realise now that I wasn't looking in, I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. Okay. So what do you think? Hmm, it's very free form, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. It's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say I had some kind of epiphany recently. Oh god. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany. Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that, because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monitor's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. What the fuck? Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about this is, if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a, a big dark puddle of ink. <gasps> oh my god, it's like the, um, the song, Your Reality! So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they were just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. Ah. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's uh, what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As I read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Huh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. Guess you can say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Do you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. Okay. How can that be cute? I, I know that. It just meant the language, I guess. Oh my god. This is why you don't say something like this to a tsundere. They take everything as an insult. Including compliments. It's kind of concerning. Huh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um... Well, I do have a couple suggestions. If I was looking out for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. They already liked it, and Mint did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. My god, when the oldest and the youngest sibling are get into a fight, be like. Which I haven't yet. And Mint liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he's ex he was impressed by it and that Suki suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realise you were so invested in trying 
and trying to impress our new member, Yuri. But that's not what I... You, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous, jealous that Mint appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I, no, if I, were, if I was full of myself, I wouldn't deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Oh my god! They're just fighting with each other. Why? Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Min started showing up. Ah! What? Natsuki. Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. I don't like fighting. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Mint! She, she's, trying to, she's just trying to make us look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Leave my girl alone, Natsuki. What's the point in making your puppets all pump related for no reason? The meaning you should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Mint. No. Wait, there's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. No, there's not, honestly. Avoiding them is not only unnecessary to limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Mint? Um, well... How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whoever I agree with, they probably think more highly of me. <laughs> Help me, Sayori! <laughs> ah! Uh, Yuri. Natsuki, you're right that I liked your poem. See? Wait! That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion. That's not what happened at all! Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously. I understand. Yuri? Hey! You're, you're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that. But here's the thing no matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it and become something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when he said her poem was cute. Oh my god. Oh. But, but Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did. It was her that Natsuki isn't that enough. Hey, Monica to the fucking rescue. You both said some things that you didn't mean. Yuri apologized. Don't you think you should too? Mm, Natsuki clenches her fist. In the end, nobody has taken her side. She's trapped, at this point being defined only because she can't handle the pressure. And you end up even feeling bad for her. Um, sometimes when I've hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Sayori, she doesn't need to- You know what? I'm going to do this. It'll spare me from having to look at all of your faces right now. That warning, Natsuki snatches her own poem up from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumples up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. Oh. Oh, she really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in the adjacent chair. Oh, God. Why is her, her hair be like... Her, what? Her hair's like ribbons, what the fuck? Everything alright? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri, how could anyone not... Ah, gotten frustrated after being treated like that. You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well, alright, I believe you. Thanks, Mint. You're too kind. I'm, I'm thankful to have you as part of the club right now. Oh, it's now. Oh. I know how to read. Totally. Totally. I totally don't need to know how to read to play a game of all about reading <laughs> one more thing um that one thing that Suki said about you know I would never do anything so shameful so uh huh 
What thing did Natsuki say? Um, well, never mind that. I'm going to I'm gonna make some tea. Oh my god. Uh, good idea. Make enough for more than one person, okay? Yeah. Oh, she's staring into my soul. Go away, Monica. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Mint, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends, too. Shut the fuck up, you, uh, ginger head. That ginger? I'm not fucking ginger, what am I on about? You, whatever color the he this is, haired bitch. I don't know. I don't know, I know I got something against Monica. She's creeping me out. She's very in my soul. Hang on. Gonna. Oh, my Mac is working. Okay. Oh, that's the wrong one. Ah! Didn't mean to do that. Sorry, chat. I put the wrong slide, wrong screen on. <clears throat> Gonna. I got DM'd again. Love that. <laughs> oh my god. Ah! Ah! No! Oh god! I keep putting on the wrong slide. Hello there. I forgot to unmute you on the stream. Hey Mint. Hello. So I was just on a call with my other I was just on a call with my other two friends and wondering if I could see if they could join in just like I mean I'm still streaming, but uh after the stream sure. Just like I'm like they can just like spectate the stream. Uh sure. Add them to the call. On call. <clears throat> okay. Um I have to keep reading. This this game has so much reading in it. So your poems will turn out even better. <laughs> I think to myself. Put you into the I server. They're both in. Ah! I'm, gonna okay. <laughs> I'm gonna inform them. Just add them, them to the know. call. Add them to the call. Okay. okay. I did learn a little bit more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I meant. What? I invite them in. Add them to the call, bitch. When I add them in, I'll mute me and them so I can explain to them that you're streaming, you know, because, you know, it's person and one of my other good friends. Oh, God, alright. I, I have to explain to them. I have to... <clears throat> Just DM it to them beforehand. It's actually a good point. I'm dumb. Yeah, because, um... Doki Doki doesn't let me use game capture, so I'll have to like Dance. yeah. Just DM it to them. I need to keep playing this game. I know to myself with yeah, newfound determination, shut the fuck up. Mint. Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Ehe, ehe he he. Weird giggle sound of a pick me. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly really has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori, about what happened earlier. Uh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki? Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise, they're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends. Ah, good friends with you. Phew. You know, Mint, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club, but I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think that everyone really likes you too. That's... 
Every day is going to be so much fun. It looks like Sayori still hasn't got caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. <laughs> sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? Oh my god, you're a freaking hoe. Well, we have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to say Ori is an internal monologue. So <laughs> Why are we so mean to my girl Sayori? Leave her alone. What does she ever do? Are you adding these friends or not? Just give me a minute. I'm trying to make sure a person understands. Because, you know, yeah, it's a person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's different. Need anything else? Need any more? Be sad. He's a different. <laughs> he's a different breed. He's a different breed. Or oh, different breed. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Oh, it's faded to a black screen. <gasps> oh. Okay. Okay. More poem writing. Alright, um, fear. Oh, fear is say alright, um. Memory. That's fucking say alright. Um. Shame. Why are they all say alright? Uh, spell escape? Oh, yes! That's say alright. Agonizing? Ooh! Hmm. Secretive. Okay. Romance. Fuck. Melancholy. Massacre. Um. Anime. That's no, no, no. That's fucking Natsuki. Hmm. Have one with him? Once, one second, man. Um, I'm playing this last um, round with um. I'm gonna get my um. SP in on this last round, and then we'll and then I'll invite them because I know you know don't want. Okay. To play this game while we're on the stream. Philosophy. Yeah. Uh, uncontrollable. I'm getting all of them right. Extraordinary. No, that's what they are. Electricity. Intellectual. I'm getting them all right. Yay! I got all of the ones for Yuri. Most of them at least. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the last couple of days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi Min! Yo, Sayori! <laughs> Looks like you're in a good mood today. I'm s- I'm s- uh -ha. I'm still just not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No. <laughs> <laughs> I got it Dang. right! Just, just no. Just no thank you. I don't want, I do not want to give you, get you, go with you to get snacked. You can go <laughs> get a snack on your own, bitch. That, that's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Uh, why no. that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Uh, Sayori nervously... I just want to invade your privacy real quick. <laughs> yeah! She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets the contents spill out onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming into the club room. So either you're not hungry and you want an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all of your money so that I would lend you some. There's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so that only leaves one option. <laughs> ha! Barely. <laughs> Ugh, I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, then that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. Uh, I didn't notice that she was listening in. 
Her face is in her book as always. Uh, I wasn't listening or anything. I was just uh, something in my book. You're terrible at lying. Hello, mushroom. I didn't even notice that that chat message. How are we, how are you doing, wife? Yuri, tell Mint to eat for some there. money. <laughs> mushroom, mushroom, mushroom. Oh, that's great, wife. Sayori's trying to steal our money. That's why is Sayori trying to steal? You she wants don't food. touch my money. Don't <laughs> touch my money. I will body slam you to the ground. I have like twenty dollars on my desk, bro. Money. No, it's my money. Fuck you. <laughs> don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, no, my money. You Fuck you. Shut up. <laughs> you should only buy what you can re responsibly afford, and frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Man, you have a really large vocabulary, Yuri. Uh, did I just- oh, who joined? Two people just joined. Hello? What's that fuck? Hello. Oh my. Okay, so, Miss, this is my friend, King. He is a very good Please friend. the toast in the name, you ding dong? <laughs> king Toast. The king of what's all What's going on? Here. I don't know what's going on, Mushroom. Hang on, chat. Let me just put this screen on. Change it. Change the screen, three mobs! Don't worry about it, Mushroom. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, 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 yeah, don't, don't worry about yeah, it. Guys, 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 guys. Secondary wife, don't oh worry about God. it. <laughs> hey, guys. Um, there wasn't much room in this call. Oh my God. God. <laughs> You're worse than Karen, oh I swear to God. Wait, no, James, wait, no, 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 I forgot. Not with Mint. Ah. I make too many jokes, Mint hates them. <laughs> <laughs> Chad, I'm getting bullied! Chad, I'm getting bullied! Ah! Man. Oh, I just picked out my mic so much. Sorry, Chad! My, my, my Twitch stopped working, so now I can't- now I can't watch streams anymore. Chad, I'm sorry, I'm pretty right. sure yeah. I just destroyed all of your ears. <laughs> <laughs> my coon viewer uh, chat. Guys, why can't I be the fun guy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Me. <laughs> I haven't said uh, anything. No, oh, I no, wasn't here. Lux is requesting to be added. <laughs> because, yeah, you are the fun guy, Lux. Stop ignoring the fact you're not a man. And add mushroom. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to. Add friend. Add friend. My mouth add is my, working. Add our wife, because apparently yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm mushroom's okay. wife. Your mushroom's <laughs> wife, because they said jump down wife on that tower thing, and they were talking to me, yep. but you jumped down. <laughs> you My were just accident. like, okay, jump down. <laughs> okay, I need to I need to continue on with my game. Hold on, I gotta change my avatar to be no, fitting to my name. This is chaos. This is chaotic. I'm just trying oh, yeah. to play some Doki Doki. <laughs> yeah, I randomly joined your stream again, and I just hear like a bajillion things being added. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> no. And just explain to my friend yeah. King Toast and person why I how it somehow became your wife. Yeah, you're yeah, my wife if you I need to, down. I need like to my read. my new image, guys? Yay. Yo. This book has a lot of questions. My, my braces just made me use an accent. Okay. My braces made me use an accent. I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's the fun <laughs> side of you. <laughs> no, so, shut you. the fuck up! Person. There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to s accept the revolution. I thought Yuri was the one who used the- I'm so confused. The storyline of this game is all over the place. Yes. I don't think you're off the ad break. Oh, yeah, are you not? Yeah. No. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, oh, shit. Oh, I'm trying to alt tab and it's not working out very well. No. If only I could watch the stream and know what's happening. <laughs> well, I'm oh, reading oh, oh, everything oh, oh, out. Oh, 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 I just got a Twitter oh, oh. notification. There you go. Okay, anyway. Twitter. <laughs> I'm oh, terrified I of playing. Happening. I'm gonna get cancelled. Can we do like a screen share or something like that? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, fuck. Have, uh, don't have, oh god, I'm Twitch. losing my, my, my stream quality. Ghost. 
It's person, dropping. Who, like I said, don't talk too much. Can't be, we can't talk rapidly like we do in our calls. Yeah, because I'm streaming. Yes. Oh, my stream quality oh. is going down. I know. <laughs> Mint and Mushroom still want to hang around and like play something uh. after stream. Then yeah, we can all talk. Stream, no. There's a lot of voices. That's so much happening. What we're watching. Like, mushroom? Oh, no, no, no. Shut no, up, no. I need to play this game, but I have to read out what everyone's saying. Ah. That's probably smart to do. But also, Mushroom, if you're still in the chat, I just want to let you know, King Toast is one of my best friends. Oh, I was your best friend. person. Okay. Retribution. I'm more than one best friend. That, still coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside of all of us, isn't there? Don't let her fool you. Sayori Indeed. knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But you what? wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcake. So I had to trick Datsuki into making them. Oh, uh, you sneaky little bitch. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. No. <laughs> <laughs> we fucking slapped her! We fucking slapped her! <laughs> Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto her desk. Ow! What Wait, was, was it us or was it. A Did cookie! We slap her or? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances uh -huh. around. It, is that a miracle? Is it because I paid my restitution? Retribution? No. Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> I was I was just gonna give it to you, but then I heard you blub about the cupcakes. It was it was totally worth seeing your reaction though. God damn it, Natsuki. Natsuki just threw just, a sure, cookie at her. Should have actually slapped her, would have been funnier. That would have been funny. Yes, it would have been. <laughs> just so casually slapped be childhood best friend. Mid, mid my, sentence they are mid, just oh, mid sentence just My stream what? quality no. Ah. Yeah. But That's still, it's just funny to think mid sentence Sayori and then all of a sudden just. Yeah. I'm so happy. Sayori hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sayori rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. Of what? So good. It's poison, I bet. <laughs> Sayori suddenly claps her hand over hey, her mouth. I bit my tongue. <laughs> You're really going through a Dang. lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Uh, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers. What but yours is chocolate. Why, that Jesus? Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Uh, Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. This game, bro. No, still yes. the other cookie. Sayori <laughs> <laughs> gets out of her seat, goes no behind Natsuki, and wraps her arms around her. This is the game I've ever watched you play. This is the most sus game I've ever watched people play. That's because oh, believe me, it gets. I've seen people play this. It gets really weird. Oh, no, I know, I, I know, I know. I get it. Shut up. Cookie's still in hand. Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off of her. Um, Sayori suddenly <laughs> leans down and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. Hey, whoa. did you seriously just do that? <laughs> whoa, 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 That's whoa. That's cool. Sayori trots away to safety. <laughs> Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori? Uh, and then she glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Oh god. Where's Monica? Monica, me, Monica needs to Monica Monica come on to the club room before I slap her. <laughs> Where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have Bro. any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Dead. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit Where'd you come from? Where'd Sayori come from? I don't I'm, know. I'm not, I'm not gonna talk she, about it. She charted no. back. She vanished and she came out of the ground. <laughs> we don't talk about it. I hope she's okay. Of course Diggle she's it. okay. She probably just has something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Uh, you don't think she... She has a... I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. Uh, that's true. Excuse me. Hey yo. <laughs> Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Oh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. 
I hope you guys aren't worried or anything. <laughs> Monica chose the club over her boyfriend, after all. You're so strong-willed. Boyfriend? Um, Monica has a boyfriend? I, I have- Oh, hi, Ruby. I have a question. Yeah? <laughs> Why did they come out of the back rooms? <laughs> they come out of the freaking back room and they appear on screen. I don't know. <laughs> Ruby's yeah. here though, say Ruby's hello to the here. Ruby, the amazing Ruby! Ruby! Ruby. <laughs> Yo! Have Mint. everyone here, you're my hero. Mint! Your Mint. <laughs> between, between, between Mint... No, the Uwe, god damn it. Between Mint, person, Mama, Mama, and King Mama, Toast, Mama, you're my third favorite person here, Ruby, What Let's about go. me? Oh you're fine, about... I see how it is, fuck you. I said between, Monica, I Monica said Monica between said, what's Mint, boyfriend? Person, and King Toes, right. Ruby's my third favorite. Ah, 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 I already know I'm your first favorite, man. Man, I already know you're my first favorite. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna cry. Hmm. Okay. I, I need to play Obviously. this game, bitch. Virtual pets. <laughs> Monica quizzically glances at me. Right. Never mind that. What held you up anyway? Well, my last period was today was a study hall. Is it like is that like lessons? I really hope so. To be honest, I kind of just study. lost track of time. That makes no sense though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. I don't really. Ruby, <clears throat> I no. Kind of started recently. My mouse isn't working. Give me a second. I've always wanted oh, to learn piano. You and me both. That's so cool. You should play some piano. But you're right. You're right, Ruby. It's American. Yeah. Monica yeah, looks at me. It. <clears throat> Maybe once I get a little better, I will. Yay! That it's... sounds cool. I'll. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? It's... In that case, I won't let you down. Hint. Oh God! Not this pose again. Monica smiles sweetly. Hey, uh, Mint, I didn't... Before you continue. What? Look at Ruby said right before it's American. I'm pretty sure. Does that not look like they're saying something else? No. Okay, never mind then. Hey, yo, that that pose, that that pose is just kind of just a bit. Person, no. Anyway. <laughs> 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 You both, you both know what I was gonna say. You both know what I was gonna say. <laughs> Ruby got what I meant. Ruby got two what I meant. Two hour stream, Pog? Yes. Yeah, two hour stream, bro. Anyways. Don't worry, I've been practicing a whole lot recently, and I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. Yeah. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? Bloggers. No, not really. I chose to leave Sayori out of this mi mi mysterious esca escapade? Yo. I don't know. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. Looks like everyone has settled down. Karen. Sayori somehow finished her- I need to speak, slow down. Yuri is back to her book and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. Is hey, she gonna come out of the closet? <laughs> Why the closet? I don't know. What? So that's where her mug is. That's where her mug is. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a bit more. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover Yuri. of the book. Gonna talk to Yuri. <laughs> it looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Uh, crap. I think she knows me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me and our eyes are met for a split second. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry, I was just spacing out. Sure, sure. This is the most... <laughs> this is the most sus, yet cringe, cringy game I've ever seen. I will find you. I will find you, Karen. I'm out of this, sensing <laughs> that I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed it in the first place. Shut up! But, <laughs> but I'm just rereading. <laughs> I will stab you. But I'm Damn. just rereading a bit of this, so that's the book that you gave me, right? Mm hmm. I wanted to re reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious on how come you have copies of the, the same book. Ah. Well, <clears throat> I, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, Sus. that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Sus. I see there's uh -huh. there's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. Let it go! 
Let it go. Can't no. hold it back anymore. We can do we can do karaoke later. Not now. <laughs> Cut away and slam the door. I don't care what they're going to say. Let's go away, The cold never bothers you. He was so disappointed in you. Just look at that face and don't even tell me he doesn't look disappointed. You can be disappointed all you want. I will slap you upside your face. I do not care. You're just like face Oh my god, I'm dying. Ah. Oh, power. Hydrate. Hydrate yourself or implode. Okay, I tell hydrate. Hydrate yourself or implode. I tell hydrate myself. Oh crap. Brace itself. Hydration. What the? What was that? Who just said what? What? Are you toast? I just hear Mickey Mouse, but the what? Mint are gonna be so oh. disappointed in oh. me? Oh. Yeah, I probably am. Oh, <laughs> Mickey Mouse, right, don't just... up! <laughs> I'll definitely so start reading it screams? soon. I'm Wait. glad to hear. Shh. Once it starts to pick up, you might have, you <laughs> might have a hard Wait, time man. putting it down. <laughs> It's a very engaging and relatable story. <clears throat> Is that so? Oh. What's it about, anyway? Well, uh... Oh. The book is titled Portrait of the Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Alright. I just wanted to make sure I didn't accidentally give anything Mince. away. Basically, it's... What? I'm reading! Oh! Uh, I need help. With the, what? The screen multiplied. <clears throat> Ruby, why? What did Ruby do in the past second that I left? And no, I did. I do not remember that saving simulator. Ruby started playing can, the can... what? The what simulator? What? <laughs> 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 Ruby, shut up! Ruby. I'm trying to read this this book. It's a it's an interactive novel book book game. I don't know. Basically, it's about this girl in a high school who moves in with her long lost younger sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted <coughs> by these people who escaped from a human experiment prison. Scripted. <clears throat> and while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... that's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came in from nowhere. Yuri de gently giggles, all of a sudden... Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Mint? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those uh, kind of stories too, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so sh <laughs> she's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy, philosophy that they believe in. Then suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they're made out to be the naive ones letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. <clears throat> I haven't lost interest or anything. Totally not. <laughs> the Doki Doki Rap Battle is the spy. Oh, I think I listened to like, um, Yandere-chan versus Monitor once. Don't know why. Well, I guess it's alright then, but I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. I'm so sorry if I end up saying something strange. <clears throat> and please stop me if I start talking too much. That's, I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. Why did you play Crush Crush? Listen, <laughs> I didn't know what it was. Played it. Oh, I did sucked you into the, it. Did you play the NSFW of version it. of it? No. Oh, thank the God. The heck? Yeah, that's two versions. I didn't even know there was a v that. I didn't even know that was a version of it. What the heck? <laughs> what? I'm yeah. concerned. What are you? Nothing, person. Yeah, Nothing. I played. I played Crush Crush once. Can you? Can, can, 
Can one of you, like, fill me in on what's happening? No. 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 That just means you're passionate oh, about you. reading. The least I can do is listen. It is a liter literature club, after all. That's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? You, you don't have to. What are you saying? It's just a moment ago you said you were looking forward to it. <clears throat> Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put in my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri. <clears throat> yeah, are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. <laughs> Why is Lamau still okay. thinking in my chat? <clears throat> it, it's just... Uh... What what's going on? Alright, I opened the book and set the uh, prologue. Sustain. Oh. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing, maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. <clears throat> Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. It, sorry, uh, I was just- Yuri, you're really apologizing a lot, don't- Yeah! I was leaning over her really... shoulder, she's being a helicopter, <clears throat> helicopter. You really apologize a lot, don't you? I- I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry, I mean- <laughs> Oh my god. Here, this should work. Yeah. I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's and then hold my book more between the two of us. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we lean in a bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. And I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Oh, I love this. Well. What the fuck? Why does this man want a thousand and one pieces? What? Who wants a thousand and one pizzas? What? I, I won't. I would want that much pizza. I would. Just, I'm... just kidding. I already have heartburn. I don't need any more. You're like thirteen. Don't question it. <laughs> hey, wait a minute! Don't dox my age. There's only three people here. And I'm pretty sure they're just Ruby, M Mushroom, and. Whatever else. That's usually a bot on my stream. Tiny <laughs> one? Tiny sure, one? It's, pro it's probably me because I'm watching Ruby yeah, and Mushroom. Yeah, probably you. Yeah, please don't go here. Let's just go here. I mean, I'm probably gonna end my muted. stream soon because uh, my voice is in pain from all of the fucking reading that I have to do. My voice is in pain from braces. What? Wait, how do I save the stream? <laughs> You have to, um, <laughs> there's a pause menu where you can save. Oh! There's a little yeah, thing right that there. I don't have to, like, at the bottom, yeah, save. There you go. Oh, that's not the right one. Alright, now you can just leave. Is that, is that it for Doki Doki for yeah, today? Yeah, for today. Oh, it closed the entire thing. Oh, God. Do you want to play some, want to ah. play something else? I'm gonna end my stream fast. Bro, let's play some like Friday Night Funk or something, know. bro. Yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do oh. my outro real quick. Graf. Goodbye, my lovelies. Have a good day or a good night, depending on where you are. <clears throat> um, I'll be uploading to YouTube for once in a, in a million years. Yeah, I'll, I'll do after Ruby. Goodbye.